On this channel, candidates are taboo. You see Sudoku puzzles differently if you don't make pencil marks or write in candidates. This channel shows you how to do this. This puzzle is from Sudoku to Go, Volume 156, Puzzle Number 94. I'll show you how to spot a set of twins that are not easy to see. You can print this puzzle and fill it in as you watch the video. This tells you how to do that right here. Or you can go to sudokuprimer.com, go to this menu items, and you can find lots of puzzles out there that you can print and try solving. And if you get stuck or can't figure it out, there will be a link to a video on that same page and you can watch how to solve each of those puzzles that you can print. Well, let's get solving. First of all, in box 8, we have an easy set of twins to find. We've got a 1-4 there and a 1-4 there. That makes these 1-4 twins. And with that 4 right there, we can fill them in. And that makes uh, this a 1. With the 1-1-1 one, one, one there. And then uh, this is a loner cell, and there's a three in this row, so that that makes that a three right there. All right, and then we've got a three here, three here, three here, so that's a three. Uh, we've got three here, a three here, so one of these is a three. And over here, there's a gate pattern with a three going through it and a 3 there, so one of these is a 3, ghost trees there, 3 there, and 3 there, so that makes that a 3 right there. And then we've got another 3, with this 3 we can put a 3 right here, we've got 3, 3, 3, 3, so that's a 3. Alright, and then uh, and go to Four here, four here, four there, so that's a four. And with these fours and these fours, we can put a four there. And we got fours there, makes this a four. Of course, these are easy numbers so far. As usual, I'll put in all the easy numbers and then we'll look at harder things to solve once we get those in. Okay, we have six here, six there, so that makes this a six. And now we've got, um, let's look at row 8 here. We've got three numbers here, 7, 8, and 9. That leaves 2 and 5 right there. With that 2, we can fill those in. And then we've got a 1 and a 5 here. Makes these 1, 5 twins there. With that 1, we can fill those in. Alright, and then we've got um, let's see, a 2 right here with this 2 and these 2's makes that a 2. And then we've also got a, uh, a 6 here and a 6 here, so that makes one of these a 6. There's only two numbers missing in box 5 here, 6 and 9, so that can't be a 6. So that makes that a 6 right there. Okay, and then um, we've got a seven, sevens here, so that makes that a seven. And now we have a situation, we have two, three there, two, three there, it makes these two and three. There's a three there, so we can fill those in. Okay, and now we're missing, uh, let's see, we've got a two, 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 so that's a two. 2, 2, 2 there, so that's a 2. And in box 6, we also have 3's here and a 3 here, so that's a 3. Almost everything I've done so far is quite simple, but uh, I'm going to put one more number in here, and we are going to get stuck. Let's see, let's look at column 7 here. We're missing 5, 8, and 9. 5, 8, and 9. Uh, there's a 5 there and a 5 there, 
so these can't be five so that makes that a five right there okay now we've got eight nines here eight nines here seven eight nine there six nine here seven eight here and uh we're, we're pretty stuck we uh got to a point where I can't find any more easy numbers. Now I'm going to show you a set of twins that are pretty subtle. They're kind of hard to see. And then we're going to have to use a couple of other techniques to find the next number. Now if you'd like to pause the video, I'll tell you the next number I'm going to put in is an 8 right here. And I'll show you how I find that. But if you want to pause the video and see if you can find it yourself, go ahead. Otherwise, I'll continue. We have seven eight twins here because of these six nine twins right there. Let's look at this cell right here. Let's see what we're missing. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. And we got a nine there. So we're missing five, seven, and eight. But because of this five right here and this five right here, we have ghost fives right here. So that can't be a five. So that makes this a 7 or an 8, and we have 7, 8 twins there. So that's a set of twins that's kind of subtle. Um, you can't see it very easily. And now, remember, I was going to put an 8 right in here. Let me show you how I get that. We've got um, 7, 8 twins here, so that makes these 5, 9 twins. In box 3 here, we're missing 5, 8, and 9. So that can't be an 8. It's a 5 or a 9 because these 7, 8 twins here. That makes these uh, uh, one of these an 8. So we have ghost 8s here. So that can't be an 8. We've got an 8 here. So the 8 in box 1 has to be here or here. That puts an 8 with these ghost 8s. That puts an 8 right there. So first I found these 7-8 twins with that subtle 5 missing there. That gave us uh, ghost 8s here, which eliminated the 8 from here, which helped us find that next number. Okay, and with this 8, we've got 8-9 eight, right here, so that makes that an 8 with this 8, and a 9 there. And we can fill in this 9 right there also. All right, and then um, now that we have a 9 here, we can fill in these 6, 9 twins here that we found. Okay. And then um, see, we've got a 7 here, so that makes this a 7. A loner cell there, well course it's also the only number left in uh, row 9 there and uh, in column 9 we're missing 5 and 8 five, 5 and 8 there's an 8 there so we can fill those in and now in box 6 we're missing 1 6 and 8 there's a 1 and an 8 there so that's a 6 and we've got an 8 there, so that's a 1, that's an 8. Alright, let's look at box 4 here. Got 1, 1, 1. 6, 6, 6. And 5, 5. These are 5 and 6 here. 5, 6 twins. There's a 5 there, so we can fill those in. And then we've got a 7 and a 9 left. With that 9, we can fill those in. Okay, and we're missing 6 and 9 here. With that 9, we can fill those in. All right, let's look at box 1 now. Uh, 1 there, the only number left in column 2. And uh, let's see, we got... Uh, see what we're missing here 
five, six, five and six missing there. So we can fill those in because of that six. And now we're missing seven and eight there. With that seven, we can fill those in. All right, now we're missing seven and nine in row one. There's a seven, so that's a nine, that's a seven. And five missing in box three, the only number left. Um, and let's see what we can do with this right here. We've got a seven and eight, so that makes that a nine right there. And we got seven and eight left. With that seven, we can fill those in. And uh, now we're only missing three numbers here. We can look at this row to find this loner cell. 327, 327, 154. There's a one and four there, so that's a five. And we're missing eight and nine there. With that nine, we can fill in the eight and put in the, rest, the last number. And that's it. All right. Well, there could be twins in Sudoku puzzles that we don't see because they're hard to find. Kind of like these seven, eight twins that I mentioned at the about the middle of the of the video here. Um, and so this puzzle shows you how we can find twins that uh, are a little bit more subtle if we're alert. So kind of watch for that as you're solving puzzles. And hopefully that'll help you, that technique or that, that uh, thought. Well, thanks for watching. Happy solving and happy holidays.